Money would not liberate man. Technology is the liberator of man. Bitcoin is the order in the chaos. It is the keeper of time. It takes something that is so simple, a ledger and a pen, digitized the both of them and allowed the whole world to see the evidence that has been inscribed upon it. At its real core intent, regulation is put into place to prevent human beings that when they acquire positions of power, they do not abuse that power. The reality is quite far away from the true intent. The system that we have has many inefficiencies baked within it because the time factor between different events cannot be brought down to a small window. With the world of Bitcoin, it's not that things cannot be changed, it's things that cannot be changed without leaving evidence of the change. In a system where you have innate technical integrity, it becomes a self-regulating system. We not only are lumbered with the intent of regulation, which is a good intent, we fundamentally agree with it. I personally fundamentally agree with putting shackles on human beings who acquire power to prevent them from abusing that power. But Bitcoin does it better. and actually allows us all as businesses to adhere to law, order and regulation and transparency efficiently and cheaply. I don't need an expensive auditing company to now step in and tell me what is or what isn't if I build my infrastructure on top of these foundations. And the interesting thing that is going to start the domino effect of liberating us as a global collective. Soon as a financial institution implements their financial infrastructure on top of Bitcoin and utilizes the transparency of the chain in this way, it lays down a gauntlet in the sand. It puts down a line that says there is now a choice. You can implement systems of transparency and therefore acquire a competitive edge over those who bathe in opaqueness and secrecy, or you don't. With the level of education rising on the planet, awareness rising on the planet, skepticism record high, trust record low, that what we are being fed and told through our media outlets isn't necessarily the truth. I say, let's stop the arguments, let's stop the separatism, and let's just implement technology that works. Let's implement technology that brings the answers that will mark X on the spot of corruption should it ever take place. We don't need to argue anymore. We don't need to have the exact same political process when we can purify our political process by just installing a transparent voting system. We can purify our banks by just installing a transparent ledger system. We can purify all mechanisms of trade by just having it ordered in a chronological timestamp that is the global ledger of the planet and the evolution of every freaking human being that resides within it. Every single one of us should have a purified version of truth that we can all reference, document, interact with and benefit from the new extension that is the human experience. And this is what is going to fuel and spark the fourth industrial revolution. It is not the imprisonment of humanity kind of where we was going, but because of this second ring system of sovereignty, the one that's actually completed the internet and now going to evolve the internet where the internet's no longer feeding on us for data, right? By calling us into all of these free platforms, Facebook's free, Twitter's free, Instagram's free, Snapchat's free, TikTok's free. It's not free. You're the product. A Canadian man has blown the whistle on his own company for harvesting private data from 50 million Facebook users. Twitter sold information to the same academic who obtained Facebook users' data and later passed it on to Cambridge Analytica. We didn't take a broad enough view of our responsibility, and that was a big mistake. And it was my mistake. 
and I'm sorry. So when we combine a system like Bitcoin that allows you to own your data, for you to decide how the ledger of you is read and kept and who interacts with the ledger of you, where it's no longer being extracted from, it's you pushing data to your service provider. You are now navigating the internet in a sovereign way. Where this really starts to truly have the capacity to liberate humanity is once we start taking our fiat currency systems, tokenizing them on top of this transparent system, this ledger that has been given to us called Bitcoin. We hold fiat currencies accountable one-to-one -one with what is on the ledger. All debt issuance, fractional reserve ratios of any financial institution can be tracked. It doesn't mean that you can't run fractional reserve. It means I will see your leverage of fractional reserve. I will see how solvent you truly are. And if you don't implement it, no problem. There's a choice over here. That is the next human condition. It's choice, it's liberty, it's sovereignty, and it's freedom. All because the lights went on. And that is true sight.